Hey, welcome back to the new channel, Thrift Resell Repeat. And I returned from Florida. As you remember, I shut the store down last week, had a little bit of a vacation, it was awesome. A uh, little bit of a strange things happening on the way home. Uh, if you wanna hear about it, let me know in the comments or just hit me up. So if you remember, I had a really good weekend last week before I shut everything down. And I turned the store back on Friday night. And as of right now, it's Sunday, about 2.30 in the afternoon. I have 15 orders. So we'll see what that goes up to tomorrow. But there were some really good sales in that. I did go to a few thrift stores today. Uh, two, two or three of them didn't have anything. But I had a pretty good uh, haul on one savers. And then I picked up something free on Marketplace that I'll show you at the end. So let me show you what I got today at savers. Yes, another guitar. I think this one is for the X, it might be Xbox 360. Uh, I paid right around a little under six bucks for it. And once I get the right systems to test this stuff, I'm uh, probably going to get about $25, $30 for this. Then I picked up this RCA uh, home theater, DVD home theater system. It was only like $6 total. And it powered up in the store. Everything looked good. You can probably get anywhere from $30 to $50 for this. Right around six bucks on this too. This looks like the looks like there's a CD in here. This is a Magnavox uh, CD player, compact disc player. Um, it didn't have the power cable, but comps on it, comps on this were pretty good. They were, I think, they were around forty or fifty bucks. So, I think I have a cable that should fit in there, and hopefully it works. If not, it goes back. So just about three bucks. Um, I saw this case, and it had a Fuji. I forgot, it's a DL400 camera. I don't know if it works. These are selling pretty regularly, right around $15 to $25. This is a vintage, I don't know if it's really vintage, but it's Triplonix, Triplinox Trip pot. I don't have the lid for it, but just this pot alone, I paid right around four bucks for it. Just a pot alone would probably get me anywhere from 20 to 35 bucks. Yes, another blender or actually a food processor this is a sunbeam oscar and this was only right around five four chain 480 almost five bucks uh just again i'm going to be parting these out just the uh the blade and the you know the top pieces and everything it does work but parting it out i'll probably get a total of i want to say around 40 bucks and this is the biggest buy of the day uh this is a remington iLight pro professional hair removal system it did power up in the store. I, I actually tried it on my arm and it seemed like it was going to work. I paid right around 12 bucks for this, I think. And comps on it were around 60 to 70. So I'm gonna test it a little bit more. And it's got the, the, the uh, installed disc in here and the power cable and everything. So I don't know if it needs anything else, but I'll put that in the description. Right, and the last thing from Savers, I paid $8 for this. It's a Daisy Turbo Spa Body Quencher. Don't really know what the hell it does, but it powered up in the store. It's a little crack. I just noticed there's a crack on one little section here. I'll put that in the description. But it did power up and work, and you're looking at about $50 to $60 on this, most likely. All right, and then the best pickup was actually free. Like I said, this is a vintage Electrolux, Electrolux. 2100 vacuum cleaner gonna clean it up a little bit there's some hair in here but uh it does have the power nozzle which is good i may sell just the power nozzle on its own i'm probably gonna get a lot more money for that i know uh one of these i think with without the power nozzle without with this piece here i think one of these sold for they sell for over 100 bucks i saw one at 199 so i might put this with the actual vacuum and then sell the power nozzle separately to get more money for that. But also, the lady, she left this out on the porch, has all the attachments too. So there's an extra hose here. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's a white dusting brush. All these separate attachments she had and it was also brand, another whole bag of the vacuum bags which I'll sell on, on its own. Probably get about 15, 20 bucks just for this. So. All in all, uh, if I part this out and sell everything, you're probably looking anywhere from $200 to $300 on a free pickup. So happy about that. So that's it for now. I'm going to start putting this stuff away. The other thing, so going back to my trip, I was supposed to come home Friday night. And because of circumstances, again, if you want to know what happened, hit me up. 
Uh, we had to come home on Saturday. The piano was supposed to get out of here yesterday and Saturday. Had to be rescheduled to next Saturday. So I'm at a standstill as far as moving all my, my packing table and supplies and the boxes and all that stuff here. So it's going to be another week of going over to the eBay space to do orders there. And I'm also uh, contemplating on purchasing some sort of shed, another shed. I might do like a Rubbermaid or a resin shed, you know, like a 7x7. Seven seven. They're expensive, but I'm also, I have a, a metal shed out there too that's like a 10x10 10 10 that's less money. It's probably like almost half the price of the resin shed. It's a little bigger, but uh, it, it was really a pain to put together. So I'm not sure if I want to get into that. And, or I might wait a little bit, build up a little extra, uh, a little extra money from sales and, and actually get a, uh, a much bigger shed. I'm not sure. But I want to get the shed to store all my packing materials, boxes, um, you know, put a couple of shelving units in there with all that stuff. So I don't have to have them up in the rafters here. I don't want to have any shelving units in the studio here. I just want to have my, um, my packing table and all that. And I, I'll just have to go out there and, and get what I need. So... We'll see what happens with that, but on to the next part of the video. It's Monday morning, July 26th. I still have to head over to the eBay space to pull all the orders, but I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing lately it's because I just don't want to waste time over there with uh, filming everything. So I'm just going to show you on my phone again what sold. I had 18 orders. Remember, I turned the store back on Friday night, so I had 18 orders through the weekend. One's not paid for yet, so I'm just going to show you the other 17. Uh, first up, we have a Hoka 1-1 one, one men's Arahi 2 running shoes in blue. So for $48 plus shipping, I think I paid right around $9 for those. Then we have an Air Jordan Jumpman snapback hat flat bill retro. Got this a while ago. Uh, I think I got it out of Savers and I think I paid right around four or five bucks. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Then we have a vintage set of Princess House Heritage uh crystal four oval napkin ring or rings uh that was part of the princess house buy at the flea market i think i paid i want to say i paid 40 dollars for all of it and i've already five times my money over on that these sold for 19.99 plus shipping then we have a cuisinart mini prep plus four cup food processor chopping blade just the blade uh for the whole processor i think i paid six bucks just the blade sold for 14.99 free shipping then if you remember the uh orby uh, system that I picked up at Savers a couple of weeks ago. I paid like seventy dollars. There was five pieces. It was a one router and four satellites. Five pieces each, around seventy bucks. So three hundred fifty dollars for the whole thing. Uh, the router sold for two forty nine ninety nine plus shipping. One buyer bought two bobbleheads. Uh, one was a Manny Ramirez from the Boston Red Sox, and the other was a Derek Lowe from the Boston Red Sox. Going to combine shipping on those, refund him a little bit. And the combined price on these two. So I paid $3 for, for total for both of them. And they sold for $24 plus shipping. Next up we have the Hull Pottery. That's the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, this is a set of five brown drip glazed dinner plates. Ten and a half inch. Uh, you remember I paid $95 for that whole lot of Hull Pottery. There was probably... I, I don't even remember how many sets of these things I've sold so far. And I still have some left. I still have some that aren't even listed yet. I did put up a couple last night, but uh, these I probably have maybe five bucks into these five plates, and they sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, then we have a Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games for the, the uh, Nintendo Wii. This is untested, as I didn't have a system at the time, and I think I paid average about to a dollar on this, and these sold for, this sold for $12.99 free shipping. And then up next from that big Star Wars Star Trek buy, we have another piece that is sold. Uh, this is the Shadows of the Empire Boba Fett versus IG-88 comic pack. And so I probably have a dollar into this and this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And then we can't go a weekend without selling one of those mini ships in a bottle. Yep, we sold another one. Uh, if you remember, there's about 60 in the box. I paid $40 for the whole box. So if, what is it about? Maybe 60 cents or so for each piece. I don't, my math's not good right now. But... We had another one sell for $9.99 free shipping. Now on that $9.99 free shipping, I probably make right around four or five bucks on each one. So I paid 60 to 70 cents each and I'm making four or five bucks. So I'm making around $4 for each one of those sold. So there's 60 in the box. So 
when they're all done, I'm probably going to make about $240 minus the 48 paid. So I'm going to profit about $200 on that box. They're all in one box. They're easy to store. They're not in the way and they'll just sit and they'll sell as they go. Then we have a Hot Wheels Redline Custom Mustang in metallic red with red interior from 1967. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if this is my stepfather's. I got to look at it when I get to the eBay space, but uh, if not, I probably paid right around four or five bucks for this and it sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Then we have another of the Shadow of the Empire Boba Fett versus IG-88 and that also sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And then sticking to Star Wars, we have a 1995 Star Wars Power of the Force Imperial speeder bike with Biker Scout Stormtrooper, uh, new in box. This is part of that whole buy, that giant buy and I probably have a dollar into this, and this sold for $21.99 plus shipping. All right, and then back to the Orbi, uh, we sold another satellite. You remember I paid 70 bucks for each satellite? This one sold for $269.99 plus shipping. All right, then I sold uh, a pair of NFL officially licensed child jean skirts with suspenders. Choose the team. I can't see what team they chose yet. Uh, there's only three of them. There was it was either the, actually there's two of them the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New York Jets So I will find out when I get to the eBay space, but I paid 40 cents for this and this sold for this I think this this sold for $14.99 plus shipping then continuing with the sports theme for 40 cents I also bought this uh, NCAA Texas A&M Aggies Aggieland maroon extra large t-shirt uh, As I said 40 cents into it. This one sold for $12 free shipping and then we have another Orbi satellite, $70 into it. And this one also sold for $269.99 plus shipping. So another really good weekend. Uh, as I said, I got to continue packing my orders over at the eBay space. Hopefully this is the last week, Saturday, piano's coming out of here, hopefully. And then Saturday, I'll also be moving all the packing supplies back here. And I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do about a shed. So I'm probably going to hit up a couple of stores today at the very least. And I might have to pick up a couple other things here and there. Uh, if I do buy anything, you'll probably see it. If not, we're going to roll over to Tuesday. And hopefully, these great orders keep coming in. And I got to continue listing. The problem is, I'm, I am listing a lot. Every day I was just about to list uh, something now, but uh, I keep buying a lot, which I have to because that's the name of this game. Hey, it's Tuesday morning, July 27th. Only had four orders last night and only bought, I went to five thrift stores yesterday. Only bought two pieces and they were both uh, pretty much taking a chance on both of them. The stores were wiped out. Not sure. I've never, never, I've had days where it's slow in those stores, but I've never seen shelves as empty as they were yesterday. So let me show you the two things I bought. First, this is Epson, uh, what is Stylus Photo R280. Um, I don't, it's kind of dirty, it's gonna get cleaned up. Don't, it powered on, don't know if it works, but it was only five bucks at Goodwill. So I took a chance on trying to change five bucks into around $80, $70 a profit. If it does work, if it doesn't work, I might be able to sell just some of the, maybe the print head or something like that on its own. And then this was $20 at Goodwill. It's a, it's a Cisco uh, 4300 series. Didn't have the power cable with it. So I have no idea if this thing works or not. And I don't see, oh, I see you, you need a special cable for this. So I'm gonna look up the comps on, the comps on this were really good actually. They were in a couple of hundred bucks, but Without a power cable and able to test it, I didn't know it was, I didn't look at this well enough in the store. It uses a special kind of a plug on this. So I'm going to look up comps to see if there are any untested or missing the power cable and see what they sell for. And if they, if it's not that good, I think I might, because Goodwill gives you 24 hours to return electronics, so I might bring this one back today. And again, I apologize for having to do the orders this way, but there is a... Uh, Hopefully this is the last week, like I've been saying. So first up, so first up is Lego's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean video game for Sony PlayStation 3. So for $14.99 free shipping. Pretty sure I paid about a dollar for that. And then I paid two dollars for this uh, vintage Pocket Brothers billionaire board game from 1973. That sold for $14 plus shipping. And then we have a Ninja Food Processor Master Prep blade set for the 40 ounce pitcher replacement blade. So I'm pretty sure I paid, I want to, I said, ran around five bucks for three separate pitches from Ninja with the blades in them. So just this one blade, so for $12.99 free shipping. 
And then the last thing is this 1996 Galoob Star Wars Micro Machines Action Fleet Remote Control. I used to call it ADAT -AT when I was a kid. I don't know if they call it just ATAT, -AT, but it's new in box. And I'm pretty sure I paid probably around a buck for this. And this sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So the plan for today is to go, I got to actually, I'm going to pick up KitchenAid mixer attachments for free, not unused. The, the lady was just giving away, she never used them, still in the plastic. So probably going to get about maybe $60 on those things once they sell. And then I am going to maybe return that Cisco piece back to the Goodwill in Warwick. Maybe hit one or two other thrift stores, but then I got to get back here today and get listing. Um, I was trying to figure out why after a great weekend the sales were slow. It's because I was on vacation all last week and didn't really list anything. I'm going to try to get some of this stuff tackled here today. I got a bunch of outdoor stuff I need to get uh, caught up on today. So if I do buy anything else, you'll be the first to see. Almost forgot. Uh, I did make another purchase yesterday. It was from Facebook Marketplace. And I got a really good deal on it. So this guy was selling one of those new wave, you know, the things with the domes that I've been selling or that I've been buying. Uh, pretty much brand new. And it also has a carrying case with it. And there was also a new wave twister blender um, in with that too. So he had everything up for 75. It wasn't selling. He marked everything down to 25 in the last couple of days. I offered 20. And he said, if you come right now, they're yours. So I went and I got them. So here is the new wave twister and I mean it, the box is open doesn't look like any of this has been used so I gotta really check it out to see if it's just new open box but this right here if it is new open box I'm probably gonna get about 30 bucks for this and then right here is the the case for the new wave carrying case I'm not gonna open it up but this is all in the plastic too and it also came with the this right here I'm probably gonna sell this separately probably get about I don't know, maybe 10, 15 bucks for that. But if I sell the the new wave all together, I'm gonna I'm gonna part out the bag. I'm probably gonna get about 15 bucks for the bag. But if I keep the new wave all together, since it is new, probably looking at, I don't know, maybe 80 bucks. But if I part it out, I can probably get 50 for the dome and then see where the other parts fall. I'm gonna check that out later. Hey boys and girls, it is Wednesday, July 28th. Had six eBay orders. I'm gonna show you those first on the phone, like we've been doing. And then I'm going to show you what I picked up at the thrift stores yesterday and also a Facebook Marketplace pickup. So first up, I paid, I believe, 3 or $4 for this at Goodwill a couple of weeks ago before I went on vacation. And this is a Bellwether Freshwater Fly Strategic Fly Fishing Game from Brian Sir or Su. I don't know how you pronounce his name. But this sold for $34.99 plus shipping. So then if you remember that Cisco server that I picked up at Goodwill that didn't have a power cable with it, so I wasn't able to test it, um, I did end up keeping it and listing it because there were more than a few on there that sold without the adapter. I, I guess, I think it's an AC adapter. Um, this actually sold in, I think, record time for me. I listed it and it sold within three minutes and I kept the price low uh, just based on that there's no way for me to test this thing. So this ended up selling for $119.99 plus shipping. And I paid $20 for it. Then we have an Apple MacBook Pro, uh, the 60 watt MagSafe power adapter charger. I got this at a Savers. I think I paid three or $4 for this and this sold for $20 free shipping. And up next we have a video game for the Wii. It's uh, Wii Sing. It is complete, but it's untested. I paid a buck for this and this sold for $19.99 free shipping. Then we have a lot of six uh, Star Wars Power of the Force action figures, new in package. Uh, I think there's Lando Calrissian and I see in there, Darth Vader, C-3PO, Yoda's in this one. So this was part of that big Star Wars Star Trek buy. I'm sure you're sick of me saying that. Probably have a couple of bucks into the 60s and this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then the last piece is I got this a couple of weeks ago. I think I got this up on my trip either central massachusetts or western mass i don't remember which one but it was inside one of the pots that i bought and i think the pot was like four dollars and i don't think this was supposed to be in it but had no idea it was in there this is a vintage revealware six cup egg poacher insert for use with a 10 inch skillet really i got this for free and this sold for 34.99 plus shipping so that's the orders uh one thing i did want to mention so i had i had someone start a return yesterday on a pair of sneakers in I remember when I listed the sneakers, the, the size was smudged, and I use cell hounds when I do any kind of clothing or shoes. So I went on, went online. I actually had uh, 
a store actually measure it, measure the sneakers, and they said you measure from heel to toe. They measure 12 inches, and they said, so that's a size 12. I had no idea how you measure shoes, and I actually looked it up on online, and most of the stuff I found was to measure from heel to toe. So I listed it as a size 12, and the person that bought it said, there's no way these are a 12 because they measured against their size 12 shoes, and uh, they were they were smaller so not a problem so they initiated a return and which is fine and they but evidently they want to they want me to pay return shipping now my store policy is buyer pays any return shipping unless it's free shipping which if it needs to come back I have to pay for it and uh, so that I guess they're pretty pretty upset with that you gotta when you buy stuff on eBay you need to read everything read whoever you're buying from whether it's a store or just a person selling a single item read what their policies are before you purchase so this person i guess is upset and is threatening negative feedback so they can warn other others of me now i have at this point in time i have 848 that's my number of feedback and it's a hundred percent positive so i, I kind of take pride in my feedback and i try to ship as fast as i can and all that stuff so basically this is extortion uh since my store does state that buyer pays return shipping and i i offered i said listen once you once i get it back i'm going to give you the full purchase amount of the sneakers themselves i'm not going to deduct anything discount anything but i don't pay return shipping so i contacted ebay for business and they said uh, they got to wait till the whole process goes through and then they'll make the decision if you know if negative feedback gets gets left i mean it's not the worst thing in the world if it stays but i don't think it's a fi it's fair to sellers when your store states that return shipping must be paid by but no matter what i mean yeah it was a mistake it was probably a mistake on my part although like i said i had i had a, a store actually measure the sneakers and i looked it up but i'm happy to to offer the refund but you got to get the sneakers back to me so we'll see where that goes if there's any issues with that i'll let you know let's show you what i picked up yesterday at the thrift stores first i got this set of three i think the i can't remember so three Faberware uh, mixing bowls. There's three different sizes in here. I paid, let's see, just just under six bucks for the three of them. And I've been seeing uh, sets of three on these selling anywhere from 20 to 30, 35 bucks. I grabbed this Soda Stream Fizzy for just under six bucks too. It was taped in the store, so I didn't open it. I took a chance on it. I don't know exactly what's in this box. I'm hoping. It's in decent shape, but this model here, probably used, uh, will get anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks. Then at Goodwill, I took a chance on this. It is a Hewlett Packard DeskJet 1010. It's got the power cable with it. Looked pretty clean, and it was only six bucks. So we're gonna see if this thing works. If it does work, then you're probably looking at 40, maybe 50 bucks on a six dollar purchase. And then at Goodwill, no, actually this was Savers for just around nine, ten bucks. I picked up these uh, Under Armour Hover Sonics women's sneakers. Pretty good condition. Got to clean them up a little, but comps on these are right around forty to fifty dollars. And then also from Savers for four bucks, I grabbed this Samsung. Uh, it's a VCR, obviously. Just looking at the model, it's the VR thirty six zero eight. No remote, but probably gonna get 30 to 40 bucks for this. And then Facebook Marketplace, I picked up, I think I mentioned it earlier, a big batch of KitchenAid mixer attachments. They've, they've never been used, they're still in the plastic, most of them are. Get all different kinds. These were free, actually, so I think pretty cool. I can include some of these. There's a bunch of manuals in here. But I think there's probably like maybe seven different attachments in here, and sorry for the noise. Uh, each one probably about f I'm, I haven't even looked yet, but I'm thinking anywhere from ten to twenty dollars on each one Depending which what each one is so for free. That's a good pickup and I don't have to clean them All right, so what's on the agenda for today? I have a physical therapy appointment in 20 minutes that I need to leave for then I'm gonna head over to Now I haven't decided I might head to the eBay space to do the orders first or I might go to a savers first since I think the the one in one socket opens at 9 now and not 10 so I might I might go there first and try to see if I can score any good deals. You know, they put all the good stuff out first and everybody attacks it. And, and by the time I would get there after I do orders, most of the good stuff's gone. So I might go there right from physical therapy and then head to do the eBay orders and then possibly go down to Warwick and hit a couple of stores down there before heading back here today. 
we're not going to have good weather for a few days here so i got my pool stuff in yesterday and i can't wait for this piano to get out of here because i have so much to do this weekend moving all my packing materials and all that and all that stuff in into this studio uh, i'm still debating on whether i'm going to get a shed another shed a trailer or a shipping container now I have a budget and shipping container is probably out of the budget even a used one and I don't know if I want that in my yard the trailer I'm trying to find one at a decent price I really don't want to go too high and the size that I'm looking at is probably out of my budget but might get lucky and find one so we'll see the thing about the sheds is I have to build them or build it and they're not probably not going to have as much space as the other two uh, choices so i'm still debating on that there's no rush on that right now for now i'm gonna have to just keep all the shipping supplies in here boxes and everything but um i want to be able to if i if i were to get a shipping container then i could put all my su supplies out there but also stop putting inventory out there um and i have to keep everything over at the ebay space maybe eventually i can get everything into the container but we'll see I'm, uh, I'm rambling on right now. I have to get to my appointment and I'll be back. Hey gang, it's uh, Thursday, July 29th. It's in the afternoon about three o'clock. Uh, as I said, I only had two orders this morning. I'm not gonna really show them, show them to you. One was a set of uh, crystal balloon goblet glasses that I picked up at the flea market for five bucks. They sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And the other thing was another ship in a bottle. So I paid about 60 cents for it, sold for $9.99 free shipping. I made some good progress today. So I got a bunch of stuff. I went to a few uh, Sabres and one Goodwill. I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but I also decided on my storage solution. So I'm gonna, we're gonna head outside so I can show you exactly what's gonna happen. All right, so this is my kind of backyard area um you know i have a yard over here but this is my big parking lot so to speak and if you've watched the channel before i think this you've seen this shed but all my landscape stuff is in there so what i want to do is these are paddle boards and uh kayak this stuff is going to move over there near my plow in the corner and i'm going to be putting in uh, i'm going to be renting a 20 foot shipping container that's going to go right here next to the shed it just made more sense doing it that way. So I, as I've been saying, I was at first I was gonna get another shed. I can get one like that, a 10 by 12 for like five, 600 bucks. Don't really have a ton of space in there. Then I was gonna get uh, one of those resin sheds or Rubbermaid sheds that are a little smaller, but a little taller, but they're more expensive. And then I started thinking about trailers because I used to have a landscape business. I had a seven by 14 trailer that I sold a couple of years ago. I was thinking of getting another one if I could find one cheap, but they're, they're generally around the $5,000 mark and I don't want to spend that right now. I found a place actually in town that has shipping containers and they had an add up on Craigslist, uh, 20 foot shipping containers, $75 a month. Now, when I had the storage unit before I brought my stuff to my parents, I was pay, paying 80 bucks a month for that storage unit. It was only a five by 10. So this uh, shipping container was 20 by I think it's about 20 by maybe 10 feet wide it's plenty of space I gotta figure something out as far as I might probably put a dehumidifier in it and or maybe an, uh, an air conditioner as well like a portable one to try to keep because it's gonna get a lot of condensation in there um, at the very least I'll be doing a dehumidifier so luckily I saw that ad because when I went into the place they said they were $150 a month for a 20 footer and I said no I saw your ad on Craigslist and I guess they forgot to pull the ad down so they had to honor the price so I'm getting it basically at half price they just got a couple in today they're gonna get painted and then it's hundred and fifty dollars to deliver it here and then hundred fifty dollars when I want to ever get rid of it but I'm gonna be using it for a while so hopefully today's Thursday they're thinking Monday or Tuesday they can get it delivered here which is fine because on the weekend I'm gonna stop bringing all my shipping supplies once the piano is out of the studio and then uh all the shipping supplies and everything like that is going to go right in the shipping container the only thing and actually all my my death pile is going to go in the shipping container and i may stop moving my inventory into the shipping container because i'll have a ton of room or i may just start putting stuff in there and then eventually little by little taking the other stuff out of my parents basement this way i can just have everything here and not have to be going back and forth every morning and you know i go there early and my my mother sometimes likes to sleep in i don't think she hears me but i'd rather just get everything done here uh so yeah so it's 75 bucks a month and i can definitely afford that if i wanted to buy it it was going to be like six grand and there's no option to to rent to buy 
but they did they said because i'm a neighbor they, they all live around this area if i do decide to buy it in like a year or two they'll give me like four months uh, credit on it which is fine i don't think i'll be buying it because when i'm you know if this ebay thing ever stops and i want to get rid of it i just pay them 150 bucks and they come and pick it up and, and take it out so the guy's actually coming here after work to check my driveway to make sure they can get the truck or the trailer up into here to be able to set it down back there i might also get some four by four pieces to have it put down on um, to get it off the ground a little bit just in case you know we get a lot a lot of rain and the water doesn't come in through the bottom probably go pick that up at home depot uh, this weekend It'd probably like 10 bucks for a a four by four by eight and then uh, i'll probably get some rechargeable led lights to hang in there so i can see because obviously there's there's no electricity i'm just going to probably run a, a power cable from my garage and i'll be able to just run it through the yard here or around the yard and then into there and then just turn the stuff on you know when i need to you know when it's not a hot day it's not a big deal of uh having a dehumidifier running but i just want to have the option so i'm probably going to start using the bins again not in the way i was using them before but just to keep um merchandise inside the bins and away from condensation if any does get in there uh, all the electronic stuff is probably going to stay down in my workshop in the basement just so i don't have to deal with electronics getting wet or whatever inside there but everything else is probably going to end up going in there so let's get back into the studio i'll show you what i picked up today all right back in the studio it's a mess right now i'm just kind of rearranging things for the piano to come out of here on saturday finally uh, I got two bins of stuff I listed that I was going to bring over to the eBay space, but I may leave it here and just start putting it next week into the container when it shows up. I'm really hoping they can fit it because if they don't, then I have to switch to uh, plan B or plan C or whatever. But let's show you what I picked up today. Okay, for a little over six bucks, I picked up this iced tea maker from Mr. Coffee. It looks like it's in really good condition. I don't think I'm going to part this out because... The whole pieces like this sell for around 30 35 bucks got another panasonic vcr i paid i think i paid five change for this uh it powered up in the store i gotta test it out but you're probably looking at 30 35 40 dollars on that and i also grabbed this eden pure uh quartz infrared portable heater it actually has a remote on top i paid um just over seven dollars for this i tested it in the store it got hot but pressed the power button to turn off it it turns off everything else on there, but the power, it still stayed running. So I got to do some tests on this. Maybe there's some kind of reset that you can do for it. At the very least, I could always keep it here in the studio or I can put it out in the storage, the shipping container uh, during the winter time if I want to get some heat out there. Right around five bucks, I got this Catmate C500 automatic pet feeder with digital timer. It was uh, taped up, so I couldn't see what was actually in the box, but if it's good even used these things sell right around 30 bucks for right around 12 dollars we got a pair of nike tiempo sneakers all white they're in really good condition as you can see i'd probably look in anywhere from 30 to 40 dollars for these i grabbed these turtle beach headphones they're wireless headphones but the charger wasn't in it i actually got these for myself um it looked like I could probably find something that'll charge this and I paid like $10 for these things so I wanted a pair of uh, wireless headphones but without having to pay $150 for a pair of Beats. Alright and then I got this. This was, um, I paid like $16. It's a Canon EOS Elan 2E camera. Looks like it's got an extra lens on it and it came with this bag and there was a bunch of, oh there's actually another little baby Canon camera in here. I don't know what kind. It's a power shot. And there's all accessories inside here. Here's another camera too, an Olympus. We'll see what those, if those are worth anything. But this all came together. It looks like there's battery. Actually, I didn't look through this whole thing. The battery charges in here. And there's actually another camera. There's another Casio camera in here. So I got to look through this thing. But the uh, this Canon camera here, if it does work, probably looking at 50 to 60 bucks at least. And then if I put all the accessories where they would maybe get up to 70. And I was, as I was putting that camera into my cart, uh, the guy that was working, I was actually pulling it off the bin. They were bringing new stuff out and I grabbed that. And this was underneath it. This is a Minolta Maxim 400 SI. Paid $4 for it. If it does work, probably get about 30. So the guy that was working there, so I took the other camera and saw that I didn't see this one and he said, hey, take this one too. And I said, thank you very much. We got a pair of Brooks. I believe these are Ravenna, Ravenna 8s. I paid about eight bucks for these. 
and you're probably looking around 30 maybe 35. Now I wanted to stop with this kind of thing but this is a an honor cookie jar with the bear on it. He's got a little chip up here not a big deal. Um, paid under seven dollars for this but these actually go for like 30 35 dollars this is a denny a denny uh ice crusher which i may keep this myself i'm not sure yet but i powered it up in the store it works and i paid just under seven bucks but if i do decide to sell it you're probably looking 25 to 30. the coolest find was this old school boom box from magnavox so this was actually in one of the bins that they were just taking in from being donated they, they have like a whole section up front of savers people drop off their stuff they put them in these bins and then other people take them to the back and someone else prices them so i i pull i saw this and i pulled it out and i asked the kid that was working there i said hey is there any way to get a price on this and he said well the electronics person's not here today they don't they don't price this stuff every day which makes sense because i've not been seeing really anything new in these stores um for the over the past week but he said you know if you if that's all you want he goes go see if it works and then we'll just slap a sticker on it so i i went to the back of the store now the radio worked fine the cassette deck it was random um the rewind the fast forward worked and then it didn't work the play played like triple speed so i'm gonna see if there's anything i can do about that but the radio does work and these if this was in full working condition these just sell anywhere from 250 to 300 dollars each based on the fact that i told them the cassette player wasn't working they sold this to me for four bucks so even if I sell it with just the radio working, probably gonna get about $100 for it, but I wanna see if I can get the cassette deck, work, deck working because then I can really make a good killing on this. All right, so in my house, I have one of those Arcade 1UP Galaga editions. Um, they're like the four foot models. It's got Galaga and Galaxian on it, and they have a little base that I, I pay, I, I go to a Facebook marketplace last year. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was used. So I was in the last store, I was in Goodwill, and the guy just walked out of the back with this arcade one up pac-man brand new in the box it was 80 bucks and i ended up buying it um i i'm probably going to keep it but if i do decide to sell it i can probably get about 150 dollars for it but i think i'm going to keep it um just because i'm a nerd like that and uh i like to when people come over i like to have entertaining options for uh for the guests so we got galaga galaxia and now we'll have pac-man uh, i used to have a I used to have an air hockey table. I got rid of it, but I'm deciding on this. For 80%, I'm going to keep this thing because it's, it's just cool. These are the real video games. All this, these new games like Call of Duty, I, I, I don't jive with them. Um, I like these nice, simple games. Up, down, back, you know, forward, back, blast. That's it. Too much for me to remember, you know, with all the buttons on the, the new games now. But uh, so that's it for this day. That's it for the video. That's it for this week when the shipping container comes i'll probably video some of that and i'll video kind of everything going in there and show you guys that next week but uh until then hopefully you like the new brand thrift resell repeat and uh like subscribe share hit the bell tell all your friends about this i'm continually getting cool stuff i cannot wait to get all this stuff into the shipping container and just i'm gonna have a huge amount of room in the studio once the piano's out and all this other stuff's out. So I'll see you guys next week and thanks for the support.